Hello my dear friends from the internet. In today's video we're going to talk about uh, role-based authorization in Angular 12. So as the 12 is the latest version, we'll stick to it. Okay, here uh, we have uh, some basic Angular structure uh, with some uh, routing uh, we added in the past lecture. So if you missed it, uh, you can go back and check that video. I'll put a comment uh, somewhere here in the screen. Uh, okay, we have added uh, guards to authorize our routes uh, to be accessible by authorized users only. So if somebody is logged in or will it be able to access these components. So this is basically it here. And you see we have two routes uh, which are accessible just by authorized users. Okay, uh, let's go back uh, here in today's video. Uh, we'll create uh, some kind of uh, role-based authorization here and for that case uh, I'm going to create uh, in this uh, core guards uh, folder new guard and I'll call it uh, role guard actually okay I'll say ng g guard which means ng generate guard and I'll put it in the core guard and call it uh, role Guard. and uh, I'll add a flag implements can activate which means it will create a guard and implement a can activate method so uh, our role guard is created here and we can see it here okay uh, what we have to do here we have to go to up routing module here and we can here in the scan activate uh, we'll add uh, among this here uh, role, role guard okay it will include our role guard and uh, what is it doing it is actually checking this one here and this one here both of these have to return true to activate this uh, route here okay uh, other things which we have to do is to add an object specific here uh, in this route and it's called the data so in this data we can add with whatever we want here to use in our route so I'll say expected roles expected roles and I will add an object here uh, actually array here and I'll say okay admin can access and uh, let's say that uh, editor can access can access uh, this role here and now in the role guard I'll close this one okay in the role guard uh, I'll create uh, another function here first so the function uh, would be name uh, let's say is authorized so is uh, is authorized and I'll provide uh, a route here which is type activity route snapshot okay and it will return boolean boolean okay Okay, here and now what I have to do first of all I'll add some uh, roles here so this is just uh, for testing purposes you can get the roles from any source or endpoint or JVT token uh, anything you want but uh, for the sake of this uh, tutorial and simplicity I'll create some roles so I'll say const roles equals to admin and let's say user has the admin role and manager role okay we just test okay and here i uh, have to check for expected roles so const expect expected roles equals route data and expected roles 
So uh, this is the data from our route we added here. So just to know what's going on. So this is object data and expected roles. And we are getting that from the route here. So we have array of roles and we have array of expected roles here. So what we have to do, uh, we have to check uh, if uh, this uh, role is actually here. So uh, how can we do that? Uh, we'll do the following. Uh, let's say const and the role match index or role matches or matches and uh, we'll say okay uh, roles index off uh, and uh, I'll add here actually find index first index and uh, here I'll say role and if uh, in this in this uh, expected roles expected roles index of index of role is not equal to minus one. If it's equal uh, minus one, that means that the there is no match of this one here. And now what we have to do is just to return true or false here because it is boolean. We'll say uh, next return. I'll use ternary operator here and say OK. Uh, roll matches greater than zero. Then greater or equal to zero. That means that there is a, there is on this index is a row. So we'll do the following: return otherwise false. Okay, but maybe we could uh, just uh, to make it shorter do the following. We can see if it's uh, less the less than zero less than zero, I'll say okay, false, and return true. So we are returning boolean here. And now, instead of this, I'm going to, to add uh, is authorized and say uh, route. Okay, and that's it. Okay. Okay, this is authorized route. Okay, that's it. So we are calling this is authorized, providing a route, and we are getting uh, our roles and expected roles, providing our roles, expected roles, checking if role matches, and returning if role matches. We can even do this. Okay, if role matches we're returning uh, true, otherwise returning false. So this is basically it. So this is just, uh, like I said, uh, a basic basic structure. So you can do whatever you want with your roles, but, but that's the thing. And now I'm going to the Chrome and we are checking this. Okay, component one works, component two works. So why it works, I will see in a minute. Okay, we have expected roles, admin and editor. What if I say just editor can activate this instead of admin? So on the first, we cannot we cannot activate. Take a look here. We cannot activate this component, but component two is able to activate. If we say okay, admin, admin or editor roles can access that. We'll have it working here, so it's not a problem. And uh, what if we add another roles? Okay, uh, we can remove admin role here, and user is just the manager. And now here we we can see that the user is not able to access this route. So we are expecting just manager. So that's it. 
if you want to uh, if you want to activate the for uh, some other route here you can just do the same and say okay we'll use the rule guard rule guard guard and uh, just duplicate this and say okay data expected rules admin and we can see here that uh, the next one we can add just that the expected role is uh, is it's manager. So manager is able to access this one, but not that one. And in some of the future videos, uh, I'll cover uh, how to uh, uh, directive to hide this based on the uh, user roles so you cannot see even uh, an element on the screen uh, if the role doesn't match so it could be helpful for you as well as this okay thank you for watching and i hope this video helped you and uh, you're going to create something cool and interesting thank you